How's it going, everyone? My name is Forever Fen, and welcome to Fen and Friends play Monster Prom while drinking. <laughs> anyway, I'm. This intro was recorded way after we played the game, but uh, started to play with Linkario, my friend Sean, and Fate of Heart, my friend Jesse. I'll leave links to their channels below in the description. And the game is choose a monster and then go and try to find the monster of your dreams to go to prom with you. Really fun, we had a great time, and hopefully you guys have a great time watching this. Catch you in the game. Yeah, and I got the uh, the plain redacted vodka. Okay, so you have you both have plain redacted vodka? Yes. yes. <laughs> SCP, I love it. SCP. No, no, we don't have plain. I don't have plain redacted. You have plain raspberry redacted vodka. Blueberry. 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 Well, excuse me, moi, blueberry redacted vodka. Yes. Well, I have redacted whiskey. And yeah, I'm ready to do a shot. You guys? Oh yeah. All right. I was three, born ready. Two, one. Bottoms up. Ignore okay, that white know. text. <laughs> no. I don't have shot glasses, so it's just shove stuff down my throat. That's basically what I did. That's what I just did too. Uh, There's not enough wow. in here for a for me to bother with glasses. <coughs> uh. Okay, so our shots are just chugs. Small chugs. Yeah, I did three gulps. <laughs> Something like that. Alright, so are you ready I to do this? I not do that many gulps because that was I got a high tolerance. I need to feel something. I do not. So. <laughs> I'm ready to play some Monster Prom. Let's do this. You guys I'm ready? fucking ready! I'm fucking ready! Let's do this! Can I hit play? Can I hit play? Can I hit play? Yes! I don't know. Can you hit play? Can I? Yeah. I think probably. I did. Alright. All right. Yes! Um, there's three, three players. players. Obviously there's four of us. In Short game, around 70 nine. minutes. I want to do a full game, though. So I want to do a full game, too. Round 90. And I guess I'll be the humble narrator again. Ah, All right. spooky uh, high school. Be aware. Yeah. Be aware. Being the humble, the humble high, uh, narrator, there's a lot of uh, talking from the other characters, like that you interact with. I'm totally fine with that. I'm down to do voices. If you guys have a voice, feel free to do it. It's gonna be fun. I may have one by the time I'm done with this. I probably <laughs> will too. And also, by I mean, the way, when I say I'm the humble narrator, there's nothing humble about me. No, no. <laughs> Alright, let's start. Ah, spooky high school. The sweetest years of our lives. Back then we were young and unafraid. Sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid, but always willing to live life to the fullest. We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. Okay, I guess I'm player one. Oh, These sure. are our characters. This is just like Yogg and I love it. Frickin... Yellow, red, green, blue. I think I'm gonna go for red. Yeah? Uh, everybody okay with red? That's kind of my color. It's my color too! Oh, oh no! Look at the plate! Alright, oh, no. um... I'll go with blue. Are you sure? I was about to like go on like a full-on rock, paper, scissors thing. Yeah, you could go... No, no, no I'll, I can go blue. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm taking red doing then. A totally doing a pose, I would do. Uh, who are you really? <laughs> oh wow, you get to name it too? I guess her name's Amira, Ready? or I can do custom name. I can change my pronoun too? Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, I'll do a custom name. There's even a uh, day, I believe. Custom name. You don't have to have a he or she. That's pretty cool. Pronoun. <laughs> oh, I could be they. Uh, I guess I'll just be he. That'll be cool. Mm -hmm. Let's do right. this. Who's my player too? I Go for it, Bait. You want me what? to do it? Whatever. So... Give me, give me that yellow, man. Yellow? <laughs> yeah. Alright, what's your name? I am... Uh, just make me Link, man. <laughs> or no, you know what? Light. Light, that's pretty appropriate. Alright. <laughs> yeah, because you're some, like, little dark thing. Are you right. gonna be a he, a she, or a they? Uh, you know, I'll just play it safe. I'll be he this time. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's playing it safe. I'm pretty sure Day is actually playing it safe. But yeah, I think that's playing it the safest. That's probably the safest. That's and you wanted blue? I'm blue. Alright, what's your name? Vicky? Name or fate? Fate it is. 
Ah, uh, yeah, 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 there. Okay. <laughs> right, do you want to be a he, a she, or a they? She. Okay, she it is. We'll be more right. experimental Let's next go. time. <laughs> and Poor we had guy. yet to experience its ultimate challenge, the monster prom. Mm. I remember it clearly. Three weeks were left, and as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we were all scrambling to catch the attention of... Sorry, I thought somebody was, like, farting in the background right there. <laughs> <laughs> we were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of our six most charismatic classmates. Huzzah! Miranda Huzzah! Vanderbilt, 19, a sweet mermaid princess who was as cute as she was genocidal. Genocidal. Ooh, that's hitting a few things for me. <laughs> I love his, like, hot-blooded anime-ness. Yeah. Damien LaVey. You had heard the voice that of uh, the video that I watched for this. It was amazing. Yeah. The voice he did for him. Yep. <laughs> Dude, why is, is he? Your Kaido? I think he's my Kaido. Yeah. Well, Freaking. Why is he 21 years old in high school? <laughs> yeah, held back. A fearless demon yeah. with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. Oh man, after oh, all. Oh wow. <laughs> Scott Howell, 21, a werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly large heart. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Liam D. Lioncourt. Oh god, he's 400 yes. years old? <laughs> a hipster vampire who standoffish demeanor hid the fact that he was truly a lovable dork. Aww. He's a hipster, I love it. Polly Geist, 22 question mark? A party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. And all right. Vera Oblern, 23, a mean self-made Gorgon with merciless sense of business. Well, Eric, that sounds familiar. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it was clear. It had to be one of them. But who? Oh, we only boy. had three weeks to choose our prom date. And even more daunting, we only had three weeks to woo them and conquer their heart. Three weeks? But as I already said, we were young and unafraid. We were ready to start. Sean, they said we were unafraid. Don't be afraid of three weeks. <laughs> All right, I'm unafraid. I have to be, to be fair, unafraid. To be fair, this is called Monster Prom. It doesn't say that they might have a college that is that has prom. But it yeah, yeah. I guess so. All right, <laughs> Team Wolf, hot or not? Take the quiz to find out. Crazy X's, how to deal when they just won't go. Oh Welcome boy. to Monster nice. Prom, stupidest pop quiz ever. Yeah. <laughs> All mines are rotten, but they are rotten in so many different ways. Worry no more. We're now using our PhD in bullshit to diagnose which kind of deviant sicko you are. The best kind of PhD. <laughs> Monster prom stupidest pop quiz ever, TM. Trademark. You will throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into your character's stats. Yeah! This way, each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true self. So we don't all start at, like... What was it, like, five on Yacht? Yeah, dude, I fucking love random quiz stats. They're fucking amazing. <laughs> Let's start. Okay. They're always so absurd. Me first. Which god do you pray to each night before sleeping? <laughs> oh, I pray to all kinds of gods. I have this business where people pay me to deliver their prayers every night. I've even started to look for a Chinese factory to outsource the prayers. Huh. Praying is for fools. I took compromising pics of a god molesting a tree, and now I blackmail him for whatever <laughs> I want. A lot more effective. <laughs> <laughs> Praying is kind of lame. I have a group text set up with some deities. Dionysus, Bastet, Loki. Cool scats. Oh, that's fucking mine. Hell yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> All right, Light. Um. Nah, dude, put I me like in that little chat icon. With you. I like your little, like, with your, like, squiggly eyes. Yeah, it's kind of cool, huh? <laughs> like, or, it's kind of nice. Uh, Miss Frankenstein Freight. I'm totally praying for this for fools. <laughs> you took that picture of the god molesting a tree? Yeah, I did. Fuck yeah. Alright, so me and Sean are charming. You're smart. Alright, remember to vote. <laughs> Democracy is just broken. What would be the best way of choosing the leaders of modern society? You put all the candidates in an empty room with a wildly grizzly, wild grizzly bear. Whoever kills the bear should be our president. If everyone dies, then it's obvious the bear should be our president. That's how Teddy Roosevelt got elected, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have heard the rumors. You know what? I think Adam, or, uh, Andrew Jackson may have had the same sort of thing. Uh, we create a reality show called America's Not Next Top President, where the candidates compete in all kinds of physical and mental challenges. Voter turnout would increase, and we would turn a profit on it. Or whoever can play the most heartbreaking violin solo wins. Mm. Oh, I'm stuck between the bear and the violin solo. <laughs> 
Uh, give me the bear. Uh, All right, dude, give me that. Uh, give me that reality show. Let's go. America's next top president and fate. As much as I love a violin, I have to go for the bear. Hell yeah! <laughs> so bold. <laughs> what would be a killer accessory? Sunglasses oh. at night. A uh -huh. necklace with your own name in case you forget. Shiny armor <laughs> is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Fabulous purse made from the skin of your worst enemy. Eh. Fancy brass knuckles or coolness itself. How would you wear coolness itself? I mean, you just be. You just do, yeah. Fuck then, <laughs> let's do it. All right, like, are you the shiny oh, armor? I got, I gotta give a shout out to all you RimWorld fans out there. You know the purse one. You guys know the purse one. <laughs> all right, uh, give me that shiny armor though, man. I knew you would. I remember <laughs> high school, man. <laughs> All I'm, right. I'm, a, I'm, I'm necklace in case you forget your own name. Yep. Hey, that's the smart thing to do. <laughs> wow. Okay, so that like did that like give us like an affection level of people? It did. It gave us yep. a boost with some people. Let's do this. I like the voice. Oh, what? Let's do this. Okay, that's I got cool. Yep. Smart seven, boldness six, creativity four, charm seven, fun four, and money five. And then it's just like yeah, auditorium, the class. The library, outdoors, the gym, and the bathrooms. Oh man. I'm gonna be that extra. I'm going to the auditorium. Yeah? Oh! Looking good! Nice! That, that day, while rehearsing for the class party, it's as though the muses themselves have descended to give you figurative oral sex. <laughs> what? Your performance is intense and inspiring. It will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standards. They're 21 years old in high school. What the hell? Yeah, you know, it's, okay. It's, uh, it is I monster mean, standard. It's monster. But, yeah, I guess that's they true. They live longer. Plus Maybe two they're creativity. In. Oh, random stuff. What? You look up to find Liam and Scott waving their phones in each other's faces. What about this one? Is he dressed up like Beast? <laughs> yeah. Dude, he's like fucking dressed as a prince. Yeah. Oh my god, is that the tree your god molested fate? Yes! <laughs> Dude, I love that coat, by the way. I fucking love that blue-ass coat. Nah, I definitely swipe left on that one, bro. Are they on Tinder? Okay, I got. we gotta start doing voice now. No, I definitely swipe left on that one, bro. But this is my best picture. But it's not even a picture of you. It's just a photo of a stop sign wearing a top hat. Um, it's autistic? I don't know. Maybe if it was a picture of a fire hydrant. Well, it's not as if your pictures aren't any way superior. What are you even doing in this one? Um, smiling? See? Unacceptable. <laughs> but I like smiling. Are you sure it's wrong? <laughs> of course I am. Look, I'll even bring in an impartial third party. You! You're renowned for your Tinder success. I am. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Alright, Ben! What's your secret? I don't just smile with my face, I also draw a smiley face on my bare chest. <laughs> I shock and amaze them with my custom Instagram filter. Sepia mustache and they- Oh, yep. It's all about the mustache. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so creative. Sepia mustache and Nima? I've never heard. I mean, of course I've heard of it. I'm the only one who's ever heard of it. <laughs> but I'll, uh... I got a new phone, and my settings got all messed up, so do you think you could transfer it to me? Liam is clearly impressed by your filter game, but don't expect him to ever mention it again. You gain plus two smarts and plus one creativity. Nice! Oh, right. Lights! Where- Dude. You can't go to the auditorium, because I'm burning shit up over there. I mean, you know where I'd be, man. I'm in the library. You guys hold up one second? Go for oh, it. Yeah. I'm gonna turn off my- The overlay thing? Because I need to do that. overlay, because- for some reason, it turned it back on. How do you do that? Well, it's, uh, display names never. If you go to settings, go to overlay, and then display names. Settings. Overlay. All right, now, that's not right either. Um, never. Playing in there. Hmm. there we go. Where 
All right. Um, we're back. Technical issues aside, we can figure out a way to get out. If you know the way, please comment so I can get that shit out of there. Anyway, dude, send me outdoors. Let's go. Outdoors? Okay. Yep. Look at you. Oh, damn. Dad. What is this? Wow. On the day during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. Dude, I know how to dab. You ha have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point there were like 300 people, man. Look! Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension. The consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's a rad party, man. Dude, this is like the magicians. These guys have fucking rad plus parties. Too fun. <laughs> Yeah! Without meaning to, you find yourself in conversation with Polly and Miranda, comparing the apps on your phones. Oh, yeah? Oh, what you got, Miri? What you got? Well, I have this game, Misunderstanding of Mobs. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure how to play, but I keep winning, so that's nice. <laughs> I've also got Scepter, which is like Uber, but for surfs instead of cars. Oh, how majestic! And Spooner, which is like Grinder, but for Silverway. You know... I like my app's elegance and ma majestic. Oh, yeah? That's pretty cool, but do you have rap chat? It turns all your messages into raps, but you can only see them for eight seconds. <laughs> what? Wow. What about you, Light? What fun apps do you have? Yeah, impress us with something rad. Do you have uh, Tiger, <laughs> an app that can make tigers appear ever anywhere? There's nothing as majestic as a tiger. Or... Not much, this is one app I made that turns my phone into a rad car! Fuck yeah, dude! The rad car! Let's do it! You push the car button on your phone and it transforms instantly into a sick convertible, crushing some of your classmates in the process. Yeah, we'll pop out the scratch. <laughs> Chokes on my whiskey. Whoa! This car is the tits! Quite elegant indeed. You know, I have always felt that phones do not contain enough expensive materials. This solves that problem nicely. Yes. <laughs> Plus, we can use it for drag racing! Let's drag racing! Oh, uh, let's I go mean, drag racing. You know, <laughs> you know my Mario Kart record, so... Oh yeah, pin a rose on your nose. <laughs> all the excitement, you neglect to tell them that you have no idea how to drive a car. What they don't know won't hurt them. At least as long as they don't expect you to drive that car. Meanwhile, you scored a drag racing date with Polly, and you gained plus two boldness and plus one fun. But not the other one? Uh, oh, you want the majestic one? I mean, I kind of figured the tiger would be her, but you know what? Car app was too good. I'm all for uh, having having you do the, the, all the female voices that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What can I say? I'm an amazing voice actor. So amazing. Yeah, totally. All right, you should have heard them during some of the games, man. To be fair, do we do have three people here that we could do choose voice for people to do. If you guys have a voice, feel free to just jump in and take it over for me, because I am totally down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to go to the back. Uh, how lame. What, the, I know. what is that, I, though? Look at that shit! Yeah, I'm totally lame, right? <laughs> Frickin' Frankenstein. That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. Yeah. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn. Oh. Yes. By skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. Nice. I, I mean, why not? You give plus yes. zero shits. Yes. <laughs> but you gain plus two in boldness. Nice. I'm going to keep that shit. plus zero shits. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Put that on the character sheet. Later, you're minding your own business, which soon proves to be difficult when you notice Damien and Scott in the vicinity of the middle of some hot, sweaty arm wrestling. Unfortunately, you can't enjoy it very long since stupid, strong Scott beats Damien in no time. But it seems you're not the only one mad at the outcome of this situation. This is so unfair! <laughs> <laughs> that one didn't count, Scott! We should arm wrestle both guns! <laughs> But bro, I've got these two guns already. Oh, nice. And by guns, I mean big arm muscles. Which, just to be clear, are not real guns. But still. Shut up, I'll murder you. No, no, no. Arm wrestling proves nothing. To see who's the very best, we should 
We should scream at our huge rock until it breaks just because of our pure rage and awesomeness! Or we should subdue a tiger with just a scary and manly look! Bro, now you're just quoting stuff from yesterday's episode of Ultimate Warriors of Mount Awesome. I love that show. Face it, bro. I'm the ultimate warrior. You look like a lumberjack. No! <laughs> Arm wrestling doesn't mean shit! Hey, noob. Hey, you! Fate! Not because arm wrestling isn't going my way, but I've just decided you should settle this by proposing a way to decide who the real ultimate warrior is around here. I mean, just gonna ignore the fact that there's two guys in the woman's restroom, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. it could be... Who says it's the woman's restroom? You're a she. But then again, you give plus I'm zero shits. Give him plus zero shits. So do you Our happen to be a registered awful. Ultimate Warrior judge and always carry this 10-step Ultimate Test program with me, which coincidentally will require both of you to do whatever I say with no complaints, like real Ultimate Good Boys, who's ready to follow my lead, or whoever can punch the sun in the face. As much as it would be fun having them do whatever I want, I'm sorry, but punch the sun in the face. <laughs> I know, I was gonna be so disappointed if you didn't yeah. choose that. Like, honestly, yeah. like, I saw that and I was like, fuck. <laughs> I felt it coming. <laughs> so bold. I don't know, bro. That doesn't seem possible. I'm fucking in! <laughs> I'm gonna punch that stupid son right in the face, and I'm gonna be the very best, like no one ever was! <laughs> anyway, I wanted to punch the son already. That motherfucker thinks he's got more fiery than me. <laughs> Are you sure about this, Damien? Isn't the sun like a big ball of gas without any real face on it? Oh, that's where you're wrong, good friend. That's what a little <laughs> sun-fearing loser like you would you say. Also, how do you plan to get there to punch it in its face anyway? The sun is like super far, Damien. No, no, it's like super, super, super far. I'm like 86% sure you can't get there with a ladder. <laughs> Look at his face, he's trying to do the math. He's like, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Scott, I don't know. I'm not an idiot. That's why I'll be uh, using a really tall ladder. Okay, it seems like the two of you will need to work out the specifics on that later. <laughs> nah, bros, I'm out. This plan doesn't sound very nice, nor very possible. Also, the sun and I are pen pals. <laughs> You're a fucking werewolf. You need the moon, damn it. <laughs> what? <laughs> ha! I knew good boy Scott wasn't fierce enough to punch the sun in its face. It's Damien LeVay, bitches! But me. I'm <laughs> Damien <laughs> fucking LeVay. Holy and I will shit. punch the sun in its fucking face because of all the bad things it's done. Like UV radiation and shit. But mostly because of pure gratuitous violence. And because I want to become the ultimate warrior. No matter what. Judgment Knights of... Yeah. <laughs> Are you free the next few weeks, Fate? I'll be needing your smarts to come up with a good plan for not giving the whole punch in while... Well, not for not dying while punching the sun. Sorry, I <laughs> fucked that up horribly. <laughs> I hope you're ready for some wacky misadventures that'll strengthen our bonds. Maybe even into the love zone. And quotation marks. I'm adoring where that voice is going there. Fuck yeah, you ready for that? It's punching the fucking sun time! Hell yeah! <laughs> oh, and you gain some plus two creativity and plus one boldness. I think and I'm in love. Heart. I think Bad. I'm in love. Bad. <laughs> Challenge. Everybody How choose much a food. Say your choice to fight. out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Um... Sushi! Sushi! Damn it! Fuck! Yes! Um... Yes! Fuck! <laughs> fuck! Steak! <laughs> Steak! Steak! Okay. Steak. What did you have? Pizza. Pizza? Oh, that's a good choice, too. Okay. Player order is decided based on how plausible the chosen food would go as a vehicle for government mind control. Oh! Okay, pizza, pizza wins. Eats pizza. Yeah, pizza yeah, wins that. Pizza's pretty good. I feel like steak would win better in America. Yes. Okay, we're in agreement? It depends on, it depends on the eight yeah. group. Fucking steak wins. You're going to well, last. Everybody likes... Well... Everybody but me likes steak. See, I don't like steak that much either. Oh, you guys Let's are go. wrong. I can't eat beef. What the hell is going on here? Okay, uh, who do we... cafeteria. Where are you going oh, to hang shit. out with? We get to choose who we sit with. Okay, oh, so... Apparently... Look at the neon cat motherfucker over there. Yeah, but only one person can sit at the ta at, at each table. But there's so, so many seats. We could be friends. Yes, 
<laughs> yes, but only one person can sit at a table, so we get to choose. Um, and one of them is... Uh, I want that satanic a, snacks. Like, a store. So when we get money, we can use the store. That's sounds cool. We cannot be friends. We are rivals um, in love, damn it! <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go with the middle table. Oh, you're sitting with your boy toy? Yeah. Damien? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sorry, it's hard for me. You find Vera sitting in front of a pile of money instead of food, as usual. Damien comes over and drops his own money pile on the table, and also some organs. Oh, not bad. Oh. Not bad, but I prefer to exert a little less effort in my, for my income. A dejected swamp creature slumps over to the table and adds some money to Vera's pile. Income? You mean this stuff? This is just what people throw at me to get me to stop punching them. <laughs> and this is what people throw at me to keep me from revealing what kind of porn they're into. Mm. Mm. But I agree, the money is only secondary. The browns on their faces are their own reward. I'm still always looking to improve efficiency. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried developing business contracts in hell? Your victims will be even more terrified if they know death won't save them. Yeah, but that doesn't work on the undead. For those who need a priest. Damn, she's got all the answers. A yeah. priest? You know how my family feels about priests? <laughs> Ugh, I'm sick of terrorizing people one at a time. There's gotta be a way to terrorize everybody in the cafeteria at once. And make money at the same time? I'm sure there is. That is, after all, the essence of capitalism. Okay. Oh shit! Are you gonna set the building on fire and charge an exit fee? Or are you gonna trick everyone in the cafeteria into having an orgy, then film it? Blackmail in bulk. Wow. That's um, escalated very, quickly. Let's see, who am I gonna call after? Am I gonna go after Vera or Damien? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> choices, choices. Mm. Hmm. Alright, so if you set the building Damien. on fire, you can I'm have going marshmallows. Damien, so set the building on fire. Okay. I was going to say, if you do an orgy, you can join in as well. So. <laughs> 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 yeah. I'm surprised you didn't think of that, Damien. Look at his face. He's into that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Damien? Where'd he go? He's already doing it! Hey, I'm back. I was just setting the building on fire real quick. <laughs> Did I miss anything? <laughs> What about the rest of the plan? There was a plan? <laughs> Not anymore. Damien, immune to fire as he is, continues doing exactly what he was doing before the fire. Beating people up for their money and organs. Let's do this! <laughs> wow. Let's do this! <laughs> I mean... I'm already sort of like... The hipster vampire likes me. But I really like the ghost girl. And Werewolf Man, I'm so interested how he's pen pals with the sun, so... <laughs> uh, you find Polly and Scott huddled at your chosen table. If these two are together, it can only mean one thing. Break masters. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. You do look like a fucking he's lumberjack! He's totally a lumberjack! <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what voice I was trying to do for if anyone's I hereby call this meeting of the Pink Masters to order! Oh boy. Frank Master Hal, president. Oh, I don't know what I did with his voice anymore. <laughs> Frank Master <laughs> Hal, president accounted for. <laughs> we'll just fuck it. We'll just change it every time. Cameron and Geist, all dressed up and ready to prank. Hey, how come you get to be the chairman? Well, which one of us can throw chairs around the room without our ghost with our ghost powers? Well, I don't have ghost powers, so. Oh, you! I get it. Chair, man. But is <laughs> doing the face again. <laughs> <laughs> no time to argue, Scott. We've got to come up with a baller food prank before the end of lunch. It, we're not caring that the building's burning down? <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh yeah! Fire! Wait, okay, what if we <laughs> eat all our food like a good boy? Is that a prank? <laughs> oh, what a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, Scott, for the last time, that's not a prank. And I don't eat. Oh, that explains her figure. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm having trouble coming up with another idea. Anybody else? You've been waiting all your life for an opportunity like this. <laughs> all your life? You propose the ultimate. <laughs> all food your life. Eat everybody else's food like a good boy. <laughs> 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 it's face, though. <laughs> Look at how much excitement he has for that. Replace oh. all the food with chairs. 
Neither of those sound like what I would do, but I can't eat all that. I'm gonna get sick. <laughs> <laughs> yes! You know what they say when life gives you chairs. You pranks with the chairs. Do they really say that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I've never heard Coach... I've never heard Coach say that. Fuck, the werewolf's like my spirit animal. <laughs> Doesn't it sound like the thing he would say? Oh. Yeah, it kind of does. How am I supposed to help, though? You're the chairman. Easy, Scott. Just be the chair. Just be a chair. Oh, of course! Scott twists himself into an uncomfortable-looking shape. He seems happy, though. <laughs> <laughs> like this? Exactly like that. Now, up you go! Whee! Does this make me a chairman? <laughs> sure, totally! Polly doesn't seem to mind sharing her title with Scott, or her affection with you. Prank? Achieved. Alright! Nice! <laughs> well, put me with them, yep. You want... you want your mermaid girl? Oh, I want... yeah, come on, dude. <laughs> the table you mermaid chose girl is quite and geeky guy. Liam sits across from Miranda, who is flanked by two well-dressed servants. One of the servants cuts a slice of Salisbury steak and feeds it to the other. Seriously, Miranda? You have servants to chew your food for you? Disgusting! Um, <laughs> of course not! That would be barbaric! The servant <laughs> has swallowed the Salisbury that steak. I have servants to eat for me! They're called eating serfs, don't you have any? First of all, no. I don't eat food. Second of all, that totally defeats the purpose of eating. Aren't you worried about solving? Why would I be? My serfs get all the calories I need to stay fit and healthy. <laughs> what? Uh, I have no objective reason to care about I regret about this, my decision. But suddenly, it's all I care about. Someone convince Miranda to stop this madness. Maybe you should start this madness, Liam. Imagine all the food you can Instagram without having to eat any of it. But Miranda, <laughs> look at all the contented smile on the servant's face. You think he's eating for you, but secretly he's eating for himself. Oh no! I don't know if I want to ruin her her dreams. <laughs> I mean, uh, how long will they be ruined? For like two seconds, but it's still ruining her dreams. <laughs> Liam, start the madness, dude. You can do it. I believe. Oh, you but you got hard for her. Might have a point there. <laughs> for too long, I have needlessly ordered off the cafeteria menu, leaving my food untouched even as I take the most artistic rounds. I justified the wastefulness by the intense artistic merits of my photographs. But I need compromise no longer. <laughs> Finally, I can have my cake and pay someone else to eat it too. Still, Miranda, this makes way less sense for someone who actually needs to eat to survive. Oh, you're just jealous of how cute my surfs are. Eat up, little guys. I'm not full yet. Wow. <laughs> Seriously, how does Miranda keep from starving to death? Do they put an IV in her while she sleeps? Whatever, she's happy. Wow. <laughs> Let's trade places. Oh, what's this? Player order is decided based on who is most likely to be hiding corpses in their basement. Okay, Jesse's They're first. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> Sorry, it's gonna be Ben. I, yeah, I'm I guess so. Sorry, it's yeah. gonna be more likely. Your name's Light, for God's sake. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs>